Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. If you're new and you're here for the very first time, I'm Jane. My husband Mike is behind the camera. We're British, early retirees, debt and mortgage free and living a thrifty, frugal and money saving life on a super tight budget here in Brittany in Northwest France. And every Friday we share something food related with you. Maybe the food we've eaten, maybe we cook something for you or a shopping haul. And a shopping haul is exactly what we've got for you this week. If you watched our video last Friday, you'll know that I've been doing really thorough stock checks recently. I'm really working on eating from our pantry and eating from our freezer. And you know what? Our freezer still is not empty. We are still eating it down. And we're gonna defrost it and we're gonna start again. And we might buy less in the future. So what do you wanna see on the channel with any future shopping hauls is me shopping differently. And let me explain it to you. There's many ways that you can shop for your own kitchen. You can go and buy all the deals, buy the lost leaders, buy it all, spend all your money, all your budget, fill your house up and then eat it down and shop from your own pantry and your own freezer. And we were doing that and what we were doing was getting more and more and more and more till we reached the point where we had way more than we needed and we've gone nearly three months without buying any meat. That's, that's one example. So we're going to be doing things differently. We're going to go back to the way that I always did it previously, that worked for me previously which is to write my meal plan and shop for my meal plan or buy exactly what I need. Obviously, I have stock in the house. I have tins, I have dried goods, I have dried beans, I have flour, I have all of those types of things. And we work on this basis of two. Two is one and one is none. So when I'm down to one, I'll buy one or two more. So I'm not keeping a massive stock. The family here is Mike and me, that's it. And we're not the world's biggest eaters. We have a piece of toast for breakfast. We have leftovers or a salad and maybe a piece of fruit for our lunch and we have our evening meal. We rarely, if ever, eat snacks between meals. I cook a treat for us at the weekend. I might make us some chocolate chip cookies or I might make us a lemon cake, a lemon drizzle cake or a cake of some sort but we're not people who eat chips or nuts or snacks or nibbles in between or candies or sweeties or anything like that christmas time we do but not on a regular basis so you're going to see shopping hauls very differently in the future we will write our menu plan and to do that we really need to write a menu plan for two weeks ahead and shop for those so we have options because you can create a menu plan and then think, well, I don't fancy that, but I've got something else in stock. And we've already tried this and we're already spending half of what we were spending previously. So we're gonna to continue to do this for a while. Yes, will we do any stocking up? If the deals are absolutely genuine, because you can walk around our supermarkets and they'll make it seem as if it's such a great deal. So if you bought sugar in bulk, they gave you two cents a kilo discount. Two cents. If you bought meat, massive in discount, and, and you had to buy lots of it, you paid a euro less a kilo. If I had a family of 10, and I was buying multiple packs of that, and I was buying 10 packs of it and putting it away and saving 10 euros, that might be okay. But holding more stock and, and having my money sat there in my food cupboards, not in my bank account, it didn't work for us. It didn't work for us. So what you're gonna see are some super frugal, I mean super frugal shopping hauls. You might think to yourself, well, is that gonna be enough? And we're gonna show it to you over the Sat over the Fridays. Saturdays? When did we change to Saturdays? Show you over the Fridays. Yeah, it's enough. It is enough. So Without further ado, let's get on to our shopping haul. This week, 
I went to two stores. I went to Lidl and I used my Lidl app to get some discounts in there. It all helps. And the second part of my shop is that I went to e Leclerc and I use my store card points. I don't use all my store card points in one go, but I did, I had accumulated about 45 euros in store card points and I wanted to use some of them. So I did a little bit in there. So let me tell you what we spent. In Lidl, in the Lidl store, we spent 56 euros, which is 62 US dollars. 53 UK pounds, 92 Australian dollars, and 82 Canadian dollars. We then did the second part of our shop in E. Leclerc, and it didn't cost me anything because I used my store card points. So I got 16 euros of goods that I didn't have to pay for, so I used my loyalty card points. That's 18 US dollars, 14 UK pounds, uh, 23 Canadian dollars, and 26 Australian dollars. Let's get into the goods that we got this week. So as I explained at the beginning of the video, I used my Leclerc loyalty card points today and everything I got in Leclerc cost me nothing. But had I bought it, I would have paid 6 20 for my gluten-free flour. I would have paid 2 79 for my potatoes. These are actually really good potatoes today. Nice big red potatoes. I paid 1 18 for my tinned potatoes because I'm down to just one in the in the cupboard now. Pay $2.93 for the Sensodyne toothpaste. And I know somebody's gonna pipe up, why did you not buy the generic? Because it doesn't work. That's why we paid this one, because it works. And then we've got Long Life Lemon Juice, I put this in the fridge, use it for all sorts of things. That was $1.99. And the General Ordinary Toothpaste, was 73 cents. The next one is Lidl. And as I explained to you, I use my Lidl app today to get some discounts. And, and I, I was pretty pleased with that. Uh, my milk is semi-skimmed, is 95 cents a litre. I've got half a kilo of grated cheese mix. I pretty much only use cheese really in cooking. And um, you're gonna, you're gonna, some, somebody's gonna say, I know they're gonna say it. Why didn't I buy the solid cheese? Because it was no different in price per kilo. In the same way here, we've just bought 200 grams of slices of Emmental. There you can see it in there, look. You can see it there. There's only two of us. We might eat a cheese sandwich every other day with 10 slices there. It's about two weeks worth of cheese for us there. We really don't eat that much. And as I explained to you at the beginning of the video, you know, we're really making an effort to buy no more than we're gonna eat and no more than we need. There we've got uh, six eggs. Normally I buy 12 and I've always got more than I need here. And that was 153 for six eggs. And I've got about 100 litre dustbin liners, like bin bags, and that's 159. Next, I got two bags of sugar. I've got absolutely none left after making marmalade, and that's 141 a kilo. Sugar has massively, massively gone up in price. Then I've got two jars of the bolognese sauce. This is literally cooked pasta, chuck bolognese sauce over the top of it. It's one of those things that if I really, really don't want to cook, I can't make it for this. With the price of meat, I promise you, I cannot make bolognese for the price of buying it. 
So that was 118 and that, as I explained earlier in the video, is something I got at a cheap price due to my app. Then we've got a bit of shrinkflation here. The box has really shrunk, really, really shrunk. And this is corn flour. I think some people call it corn starch. I use it in cooking. I use it in cheese sauce, for example. And then Mike got a pan au chocolat, which because of the app today was free. Again, I've got no butter at the moment. I've used it all up. So I've got these. It's, a, it's holding this price absolutely everywhere. So I've got two, 2.27 a pack. It's about that everywhere. You might, if you scurry around, find it for 2.14 and it's usually been cut with water and it's a lower fat butter. It's kind of not real butter. I've got uh, baking powder. It comes in little sachets here. It's about two tablespoons per sachet and that's 26 cents. Cooking margarine, all margarines, anything like that is horrifically expensive. I'm really sparing with this. If I make cakes, I use the cooking margarine. You can see here, it is half the price of butter. So it's needs must, I'm afraid. I would, once upon a time, I would use butter in cakes, but no more, it's too expensive. And then we've got uh, Lidl's knockoff of Pel du Lait. And this is the most superior, best natural yoghurt I've ever found. And I use yoghurt in a lot of things. And that's 2 59 Next, we have some sliced meats for lunches. And this is sliced turkey. We've got four slices of turkey here. It was a little bit cheaper than ham. And also it's a bit different, isn't it? And that was 1.66 a pack. And then because I'm building up a stock of this for the season, I've got jam sugar. The difference between jam sugar and regular sugar is this has some pectin in it. And this is 1.89 a kilo. We've then got Speculoos biscuits for Michael. That's 1.43 a pack. I know somebody's got a comment, so I'm gonna to have to say this. Yes, we do make our own biscuits. But no, we don't always have the time, nor do we want to. And it's something that just lasts in the cupboard. We've then got a kilo of peaches. I like, I love these French peaches, these lovely, this is a treat, these are really nice, they're little flat peaches. And that was 2.12. I, as I said at the beginning of the video, I got a discount on peaches today. I've got no cooking oil left at the moment. So I made the most of the offer on the app and these worked out from reduced from about 250 to 207. So it was a good reduction on those today. And you know, they'll go away in the cupboard. Uh, the bread we were a bit stuck for, for some reason, they're selling branded bread in there. They don't have their own version of this bread. In the UK, we call this granary bread, which is Mike's preferred bread. And that's 199 a loaf. I make bread some of the time, it does save us some money, but it's summertime, I'd rather be in the garden. And it's just what it costs at the moment. You can get it for about 150 if you buy the supermarket's own brand, but we literally wanted to get into Lidl, get what we wanted and get out. So those were 199 loaf. And then we've got a kilo of onions and that was 199. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hitting the like button. Thank you everyone who leaves a comment and we read every single one of them. And we will see you soon. Goodbye for now. Thank you.